Hi everybody, welcome. Today we're making tender and delicious oxtail pepper gravy with crispy fried red potato rounds. Sounds delicious. Let's see what we need. Here I have about one and three fourth pounds of oxtail fresh that I've marinated in some thick yogurt, turmeric and salt. For my gravy, I'll need one and a half cups of desiccated onions or dried sliced onions which gives the dish a deeper, richer flavor. About three medium-sized tomatoes that we'll be chopping. Two tablespoons each of ginger garlic paste, pepper powder, and coriander powder. A teaspoon of fresh ground spice powder, and a half a teaspoon of turmeric. For the spice powder, I ground a few cloves, cinnamon, card cardamom, and a teaspoon of cumin or jeera. And for my potatoes, I'm using three red potatoes that I'll be slicing pretty thin and frying it on a pan. So let's get started. So I have a pan where I'm gently frying my sliced potatoes. I've sliced them pretty thin and I'm gently pan frying them to get a crispy exterior. Now here in my pressure cooker, I'm going to start cooking my oxtail. I have about a couple tablespoons of oil that's heated. To it, I'm adding the desiccated onions. See how quickly it browns? All of the water has evaporated. These are actually sun-dried onions. They brown really quickly. And uh, give your di dish a very rich brown color and flavor. So we're gonna give it just a couple minutes, no more, and then add the remainder of the ingredients. It's just been two minutes. See how quickly the onions have browned? I'm adding the rest of my dry powders coriander, pepper, the spice powder, and turmeric, along with the ginger garlic paste. I'm going to give it a quick stir, add a little water so they don't burn, and continue cooking the onions. My potatoes are gently frying on the pan here in the fresh cooker. My onions have cooked and so has the ginger garlic paste and the powders. I'm now I'm going to add my tomatoes that I have chopped large along with some water. Give it a good stir. Add any salt. See how desiccated onions or sun dried onions give your pepper gravy a nice deep rich color which you will not get with fresh onions. So I'm gonna cook the tomatoes down for about three, four minutes, and then we're ready to add our oxtail. My second batch of potatoes is now gently frying on the pan. And here in the pressure cooker, my tomatoes are half cooked. I've smashed them down a little bit with the back of the spoon. You don't have to cook it down too much because we will be cooking them with the oxtail. My oxtail is ready to go in. I have some large, chunky, meaty pieces here. Delicious with all the yogurt marinade. So you will need uh, at least a cup or two of water because we have to cook it down tender. So I've added water to the remainder of the yogurt marinade. I'm adding that with the oxtail. Giving it a quick stir. Taste for salt and we can cover and cook it. Adding a little salt. More water. Cover the pressure cooker and cook it on medium low for about 45 minutes till it's tender. It's been about 45 minutes and all of the steam has been released from opening up the pressure cooker. See how pretty that is? The oxtail is ready and it's really, really tender and soft. 
So I'm going to start plating it very gently. The sun-dried onions have really enhanced the color so well. Pour some more of that rich gravy around it. And I've reserved the potatoes here. You can decorate it with some delicious potatoes, red potatoes that we fried earlier. be served at any party and if you have any cilantro just put a few sprigs on top for color and your delicious oxtail pepper gravy with red potatoes roasted in rounds is now ready for you to enjoy <laughs> <laughs> 